Hi, I'm Rabbit and I'm a go-getter. Hey, Rabbit, I got a fun one for you today. Oh yeah? All you gotta do is make our client's business competitor, Mrs. Flight. Huh? That's easy. Okay. What are the parameters? What do you mean parameters? I, I, don't blow up the plane and don't kill the guy. What the fuck? Just make him miss the flight. Uh, okay, when is it? In four hours. I did ask Tom to do it first. But, uh, he didn't call me back. Yeah, that's probably for the best. <laughs> I like that little rivalry you have. A aversion is not rivalry. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to get you motivated, okay? I don't know if I have time to be motivated. Did you say four hours? How would you do it? I would do it quite well. Bye. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, fuck. Looks like we're doing the old two dates to the prom, huh? Are you cutting this man's brake lines? No, sir. Cut them. Past tense. That's why? Uh, I'm not sure how well you were briefed, guy, but he's got a flight to miss. And the next 20 years of his life, you're gonna get people killed. We're in the suburbs. He'll probably roll through a stop sign and hit a tree. Or huh? a kid. And what's your master plan then, Gandhi? I don't... Shut the fuck up, I don't have to tell you. We were double booked, but now that's not happening anymore. You're not needed. You're not needed. I'm done here. What are you doing? I don't know, potentially saving a life that you endanger? Oh, all this fucking high and mighty bullshit again. You, you think you're better than me. I'm better than you. There's an art to this stuff. You're a thug. Oh, I'm a thug. You're turning a diversion job into an assassination. That's the... <laughs> That's thug behavior! <laughs> See? That's why your dumb shit plan was never gonna work. Who pays for parking at the fucking airport? I mean, I guess somebody does, because those lots are always full. So... Oh, fuck. I'll have a green tea. My throat feels kind of sore for some reason. I'll have a coffee and some frozen peas. Didn't think you had it in you. Kicking your ass? You know, as I was blacking out, I thought, this is how I want to die. I want to go as a stepping stone to this prick's realization that he's a much worse person than he thinks he is. That feels like a waste. Of my talent? Of a human life. Oh, speaking of, your hit job failed. Oh, yours would have gone so much better, because you know all about airport parking and that Uber exists. You were awake for that? For what? Not only is killing people evil, it's also not what you were paid to do. Oh, what was your super delicate Swiss watch ass looking master plan? I don't have Dick. to tell I don't have to tell you. No. Educate me. Civilize me. 
Okay. I found the guy on Facebook. I got the name of his daughter's school. I was gonna go to his house, tell him I was a teacher, and that his daughter had been hurt and needed him at the hospital. Oh, and most importantly, I actually wasn't going to kill anybody. Because I do not hurt people. <laughs> yes, you do. You're not a parent. You don't know the emotional hell of thinking your little girl might be hurt. Are you a parent? Not anymore. Yeah. Not allowed to see my daughter. Oh, dude, I thought you meant she was dead. Does that make a difference? Yes, she's alive. Well, either way, I'm never gonna see her again, so. Well, you still could. Nah, I've done some shit. I'm a bad guy. I'm a boogeyman. I'm a thug. And you know what? Before I leave this bar, I'm going to, one, drink my green tea, and two, convince you that you are the same. I'm a deadbeat dad. No, you're a fucking criminal, bro, just like me. You do things that the law has deemed bad. That makes you one of the bad guys. The law doesn't, strictly speaking, represent what's good for everyone. It's just what powerful or rich people have decided to... to... Fuck, man, I don't know the law. Well, let me tell you, uh, impersonating someone from his daughter's school is a crime. So, so... killing him. Yeah, that's, that's my point. Okay, okay, but there's a difference. A sizable moral distance between those two actions. Trying to kill... You keep saying I was trying to kill him. Let me be clear. I wasn't. I cut his brakes. Could he have died? Yeah. Did I expect him to? No. You choked me out until I lost consciousness. Could I have died? Yeah. Did you expect me to? No. We're the same, Rabbit. There are two sides of the law, and we're both on the morally bankrupt side. And just to be clear, it's not the crimes you commit that make me hate you. It's not the injuries you cause. It's not even choking me out. It's your self-exoneration. It's the fact that you made a choice to work for a criminal organization, all the while being disgusted by the very concept of criminals and criminality. I'm not allowed to see my daughter because of the law. And you know what? Good law. I know I'm a degenerate. Why don't you? I'm a recovering addict. Jesus. I have to believe that all people can overcome, get better, improve themselves. Look at that guy today. Life threw a lot of shit at him. You and your brake lines, me and my imaginary playground injuries, he still made his flight. <sighs> he asked for peas. Yeah. Hi, I'm Rabbit, and I'm a go-getter. Hey, my little psycho! That's fucking great job, man! What? Pinter, he, he, he missed his flight! Oh. How did you block the entire fucking entryway? Well, you know, I, I just... I, I did the best I... You know, I, I probably shouldn't incriminate myself. Mm -hmm. 